Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. Some Flint residents will soon get a share of a settlement in the Flint water crisis. Veolia North America and members of the Flint water litigation reached a $25 million agreement, meaning each miner involved in the lawsuit will receive $1,500. It came about after a mistrial in 2022, where a group of plaintiffs failed to prove VNA's liability before a jury of Michigan residents. VNA was hired by the city as a consultant 10 months after the switch to the Flint River to conduct a one week assessment. The company says recommendations, including corrosion control, would have helped the city, but were entirely ignored by government officials. The class trial that was set to begin on February 13th will be suspended pending final approval of the settlement agreement. In a statement, a spokesperson for the company says VNA did nothing wrong in Flint, adding, quote, the people of Flint and all who were affected deserve justice. It is a disgrace that nearly a decade since the crisis was set in motion, still no person who was actually responsible has been held accountable. Today is National Unclaimed Property Day, and the state wants to remind you that you may have unclaimed property. The Michigan Department of Treasury says they have millions of dollars in lost or forgotten assets that were turned over to the state once they were determined to be abandoned. Assets include dormant bank accounts and uncashed checks. Now you can search for free to see if you have anything on Michigan's unclaimed property website, and you can find that in the hotlink section of WNEM.com. And now here's Chris with your forecast. And long range temperatures are expected to be above average as we move into the month of February. Doesn't necessarily mean every day is in the 40s, but we should be at least above the low 30s, and it looks like that will continue into the middle of the month. Before we get there tonight, though, we should be in the 20s, so a colder night than the last few, and tomorrow certainly cooler than today. Temperatures will be mostly around the low to mid 30s. As we take a look at the radar, we do have a cold front coming through tonight that's leading to at least a few specks of green and white on the radar, but any Anything that does develop should not be all that heavy. We expect most areas to see this cold front come through dry. There may be some spotty drizzle here and there, but overall not a huge problem. We do expect as we go through tomorrow, there will be a cloud split. I think areas downwind of the Saginaw Bay like the Thumb and Lake Huron uh, will certainly be under more cloud cover for a longer period of time, while areas to the north and west are a little bit more clear. I think by the end of the day, most areas will be under some sunshine, if not uh, just peaks of sunshine. But once we get into the weekend, that should improve. I think Saturday will have some fog to start, but mostly sunny skies take over. And then on Sunday, it's another beautiful day, and we'll likely keep that going into early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.